Hey guys, my name is Will Sweatman, and I built a Pip Boy 3000. Uh, I want to do uh, just a quick video uh, to show the overall functionality uh, of what I made. Um, there'll be another video that has the screens uh, and, of course, pictures and, and the blog for more and more details. Uh, but there are certain things that you can only be seen uh, or understood in the video. Uh, one of them is the wearability. So as you see, this fits on uh, very good. I can move my, my hand around. Uh, and it, it stays put. Uh, so this is a very wearable uh, device that you could wear to a cosplay or, or uh, any type of conference or you name it. Um, secondly, I want to show how you see it, it's narrower here, uh, narrower here and wider here. Um, so the latch is actually pretty loose uh, and, it, and that's done on purpose because the arm of course gets narrower uh, you know, as you get towards the wrist. Uh, so I, I did that on purpose, so it, it contours the arm very, very well. There's been a lot of thought uh, and a lot of uh, engineering thought that, that went into the design of this Pip-Boy 3000. Uh, speaking of the latch, um, this is much more robust. Than This is an overview of the handheld Linux terminal version 2, a little computer I made using the Raspberry Pi 2 and a bunch of other off-the-shelf parts. The case is made from two plastic hard drive enclosures and a clamshell design and is similar to the size of a Nintendo DS. It's a fully featured Linux computer that can fit in your back pocket. The goal for this was always to pack the most features into the smallest possible size. It measures 120 by 75 mm with a closed depth of 30 mm. It fits comfortably in two hands and is just the right size to fit inside a back pocket. And to emphasise how small this is, here it is compared to 15 and 13 inch laptops. I found a really great tiny keyboard that has full QWERTY keys as well as all the special characters you need to use a text console. It's also extremely usable in low light situations, with its own built-in backlight. As you probably guessed from the name, most of the interaction is done using the text-based terminals, but that's not all it can do. The i3 window manager makes multitasking easy, allowing you to switch between windows using the touchscreen, resizing and entering full screen with simple key combinations. And